Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today, today is open source icon release day, apparently. Earlier on, we had the news about GIMP 3. If you did not already see that one, check that out. It's been a long time in development, and it is finally here. Now, we have one that releases much more commonly, and that is Blender. So Blender 4.4 was just released today. By the way, what you saw in the thumb and what you see here on screen, well, Blender is now an Academy Award-winning tool. Yes, it was used to make a short animation called Flow, uh, and entirely inside of Blender. So that's a pretty cool marquee under their hat. Uh, so if you head on over to Blender right now, it is available for download. Uh, their servers are definitely taking a bit of a hit right now, but what we're going to do is go ahead and check out what is new in Blender 4.4. Now I'm going to focus mostly on their release notes, simply put, because this is kind of one of those releases where it was a general improvement across the board, a focus on stability and that kind of stuff. Not really marquee, like here are the five coolest features I could show. Although there are some cool features in this release. So here we are at the release notes for Blender 4.4. There is a showcase reel available uh, and a recap available as well. But let's go jump in and take a look at what 4.4 is all about. And see here at the top, 4.4 is all about stability. During the 2024-2025 Northern Hemisphere winter, Blender developers doubled down on quality and stability in a, uh, an effort called the Winter of Quality. So they fixed over 700 reported issues, revisited old bug reports, and addressed unreported problems. Alongside bug, re bug fixes, uh, Winter of Quality also also include tackling technical debt and improving documentation. So none of that stuff is really incredibly sexy, but it's like the stuff that people that actually use the tool for a living absolutely love to see. So you can keep adding new features, but if those features are a buggy mess and you never go back and fix the old bugs, you're just creating a, a problem going forward. So 4.4 was all about resolving that. And you can get an idea of the kind of areas where they fixed issues. So uh, 37 in rigging, for example, we've got 45 in sculpting, texturing, and painting. 80 in nodes, 119 user interface, uh, 47 in the viewports, and so on. But there are other major features. Now, the marquee feature of this release has to be action slots. Now, action slots are a new data block in animation in the action editor that allows you to have multiple different uh, fields inside of the same animation track. So what they've got here as example is an object's position, a camera's depth of field, or material shader property needed its own separate action. Uh, it made it difficult to animate multiple elements together or share animations between objects or even projects. For example, if you wanted to animate a camera moving while also changing its depth of field, you needed two separate actions. Now with action slots, you can do both of those things. You can see they're animating the um, De the focus distance, depth of field, as well as the focal length in the same animation track. So definitely an improvement there for animators. Uh, on top of that, we've got a couple of other improvements here as well. Constraints, uh, new F-curve noise modifier, uh, some improvements to rigging, and so on. Now, the other area that got a lot of love in this particular release was the nonlinear editor, the VSE, which they're calling the vastly superior editor, but that's also known as the video sequencer. Uh, continues to improve quality of life. So big ones here is we've got the H265 five codec and 10, 12 pit videos um, supported here as well. And this one is a big one because working with text and video editors tends to be an incredible pain in the butt. It's one of the big reasons I actually use Camtasia and continue to use it all these years. Uh, they've actually improved that. So there's an edit mode for text strips in preview. So you can actually see your text as you're editing, move it around on screen and so on. Uh, we also have multi-line text strips can now be properly aligned to the left, right, or center. And then everything sped up. So proxies are faster, uh, the background fill box is several times faster, uh, many sequence effects are faster, and so on. And again, H.265 HEVC support there. Videos are now rendered in BT709 color space now, uh, and better conversions. Blender now supports 10 and 12-bit color channel videos. So the video editor definitely got a lot of love in this particular release. As you can see, there's even more to it as well. Uh, on top of that, uh, the Blender extensions platform continues to grow. This is the, um, you can now get all your plugins from this centralized resource. There are now over 500 free add-ons and themes available there. Uh, so that's just kind of an incremental growth thing. Now, this one is a really cool one for uh, modelers. There is now poll selection options here. So you can select by trait and find all of your three pole or five pole meshes uh, at once. So given the impact on topology, default selects all poles that do not have four edges, allowing for easy inspection. So you can see 
uh, the influencer here. So joining triangles to quads now prioritizes quad dominant uh, topology, creating a more structured grid layout. This helps maintain cleaner geometry. And you can see the results there with the topology influence in place. That is actually pretty cool. So if you're going from quads, uh, sorry, triangles to quads, uh, and generally that is the way you want to go, um, this new topology influence option is going to make it much cleaner in the end result. We also have a change to the way that vertexes and edges are are dissolved. Uh, so you can see the end result down here of all of the, the changes, so the way it would have worked in 4.3 versus in 4.4. So dissolving edges may remove additional unselected edges to ensure the mesh remains valid. Previously, this allowed dissolved vertices connected to those unselected edges. Um, so the new behavior process is only vertices that belong to the selected now dissolved edge. Uh, we also have 15% faster playback uh, when using custom normals or sharp edges. End panel normalization now supports multiple vertex groups and so on. We also have an improvement in sculpting with this new brush called Plane, which apparently is for making strange shaped breasts. <laughs> uh, so the idea behind Plane is a generalization of the existing flatten, fill, and great brushes with new options to control stabilization and a range of influences above and below the blush brush plane. Uh, key features include adjustable height above the brush plane, depth control for vertices below it, and an option to invert these things. Stabilize option, stabilization options for normal and planes positions are also available for precise control and a number of other sculpting improvements here as well. Uh, then we've got colors. Uh, so Windows decorations now follow the theme color on Windows 11 and Mac OS. So you see how it is carried through. So this is an example of Windows 11. Uh, so if you're using theming color in Windows 11, it will actually honor them. So if for some reason you want a bright pink uh, window background, that's what you're getting. Uh, then we've got some snapping improvements. Editors now snap, uh, softly snap to minimum and maximum sizes with improved splitting preview and docking feedback. Uh, scrolls are, scroll bars are hidden for uh, small editors. I really love the changes they made in the last release for uh, the splitting previews. And so this new snapping is gonna make that just even better. Uh, hidden away, so horizontal scroll bars are now hidden automatically when they don't fit in the editor. I like that as well, just cleaner. Uh, in note editor inputs that can't affect outputs are now grayed out. Uh, other editor improvements, as you can see, there are a multitude of them. Again, this is a refinement release. Uh, on macOS, you can now preview blend file contents in a thumbnail in Finder, App, Exposé, and in Spotlight. That has been uh, forever coming, so that's a cool new feature there. A number of a a UI improvements across the board. Again, this is a just general bug fixing, hardening, UX improvement type release, so there's a number of things there. Uh, we also have uh, some speed improvements for the compositor. So CPU compositor was rewritten to pave the way for future development. Rewrite provides specific, uh, significant improvements of performance in certain configurations of some nodes uh, and so on. Filter nodes are particularly faster now, including level nodes up to 10 times faster. Uh, the filter and Kuhara, Kua, yeah, Hara, uh, twice as fast, blur is up to four times faster, and so on. Uh, also, a glare node got a bunch of new features in here. So you see 4.3 feature set versus 4.4. Um, and then we've got a number of other features in here as well. So there is a ton of stuff in this release, not really the marquee feature type release. Like again, I can't do, these are the top five sexy new features of this release because it's just sort of a more balanced release across the board. Uh, I think obviously the, the new improvements to the video editor are big, especially if you work with text on the video editor. But I think again, the, the star new feature here is this new uh, action slots, allowing you to have multiple pieces of data in a single action line. Uh, and I think it automatically converts, by the way. So uh, I do like that feature as well. So by the way, if you're interested in checking this one out, head on over to blender.org, click the download link, it will bring you here, and you can download it directly. So let me know what you think of Blender 4.4. I do actually love these releases where they basically focus on stability and improvement that way, as opposed to just bundling in new features. But I'm curious, do you like these kind of releases, or do you just like those sexy new bullet point features? Let me know. Comments down below. Oh, and congratulations to Blender on the uh, Academy Award win. All right, that's it. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.